only started playing key defence in the carnival, is that right? Yeah, so um, I only started playing on my first trial match in South Australia. When um, we first um, got over there, I was on the plane and he told me that I was playing backline and sort of hit me and uh, just took it on board. Just waited till we landed to ask more questions about it, just to see how to play that role. And um, yeah, I just did the best I could and I played well, so it stayed, it kept me there for the rest of the comp. And it was midfielder forward to a role before that? Yeah, so school footy and uh, East from Anil, I played through the forward line and midfield, which is uh, which was quite fun as well. So, so you see your future at, obviously as a key defender, or you'd like to maintain that flexibility? Um, I'd like to maintain the flexibility of where um, wherever I get put, I can easily put my best foot forward and uh, show what I've got. But um, yeah, whatever, wherever I get put, I'm going to just try my best. So. Trey, you obviously knew that um, going into state from WA is a possibility. How do, you, how do you sort of, how would you feel about it once it did happen? Um, yeah, it was a quite, it was quite a shock. My uh, parents were really happy for me, but a little bit sad that I'm going to be leaving. But um, yeah, I took it on and I thought that I'm going to make every every opportunity the most, and I'm going to take the most out of it. And who the people I'm around, the coaches and staff, and I'm just going to make the most of it. So. And what's your living arrangements here? In um, so, so far I'm just going to stay with Brodie Grundy for a week, and then um, I'll be staying with Brad Gotchi, so I'll stay with him till the Christmas break, and then I'll come back and figure out things from there. So. How does Brody go as a, as a host? Uh, yeah, he's good. He um, sets me up, set me up with a room upstairs, and I uh, just watch, watch Netflix, Netflix and... Uh, had dinner, um, the leftover lunch from here for dinner, so uh, yeah, it was good. <laughs> no, we, had, we made some homemade pizzas as well, but uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. Did you share any South American travel stories with you? Um, not just yet. We'll probably get into that sometime soon. But um, yeah, he gave gave me a couple of stories here and there. So yeah. He's a bit of a philosopher too. Has he shared any of the life philosophy? Um, no, not yet. <laughs> nah, not yet. <laughs> What's your first impression? Ah, it's been awesome. Everyone's been open arms, welcoming, and um, all the players have been getting around us all, all the new draftees, and um, yeah, I've just had a lot of support just coming over here as a WA boy, so it's been really, really good, and um, I'm so glad to be here, so yeah. Joining a big club like Collingwood, is that daunting? Uh, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit daunting, but uh, it's just good to be here with all the boys and uh, don't think of it as anything. I just want to get the best out of myself and um, just take on everything uh, the most I can. So. And who have you modelled your game on growing up? Growing up, I was a Fremantle supporter, so I modelled my game on Nat Five because he went to my school. So I've always grown up watching him and um, try to model my game off that. But yeah. Before your position changed, were you confident that you were still going to get drafted, or you thought that was the thing that, that rocketed you up? Um, I think it was a, I think it was a good move. I thought that it would really help me um, get drafted this year, and um, obviously it's not 100%, but um, yeah, it was a good move to put me down there just to learn that backline role for even when I go, if I go down forward and mid, just to learn that backline role. So. But yeah, if it's a set position now, I'll be staying there and I'll be putting everything I can into it. So. You're obviously, you're good in the air and you're competitor and very mobile. I mean, what do you see as your strengths without putting words in your mouth? Um, yeah, you've probably summed it up there. I'm a good. I like to be one-on-one -on -one contested footy. Uh, I like to think I can win those. But um, yeah, I've got I've got a lot of things to work on still. And um, but. Yeah, my speed and agility will come into it, and I think they're one of my strengths as well. So, what are some of those areas specifically that you can share with us that you're still sort of trying to refine and learn? Yeah, so I'll, I still really want to get uh, my fitness up. If I once I get my fitness up, I think I'll be at my top of my game and I can perform at a high level. So, um, yeah, we're just going to work on that. So, and you're still growing. 192 centimetres. You're still growing. Is that? I'd like, to, I'd like to think I'm still growing, but um, we'll have to wait and see and measure up soon to see if I am. <laughs> Brody Grundy seems like a really chill guy, a bit like you, and gets a bit of white line fever. Yeah. Have you got a bit of that about you too? Um, yeah, I'm pretty chilled. I'm quite a yes man sort of person, so whatever comes up, I'm sort of easy going and like, yeah, I'll do it. So um, yeah, he's, he seems like the same sort of person. So. What about on game day though? You, you lose it a bit? Oh, on game day, I'm more, to, so, more focused. More, um, more serious about it and keep to myself. But um, 
yeah, I think it's a bit different when you're off field and on field. So, yeah. The, the yes man, that's good to read to him, mate. The uh, social media team might have field that later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and then you've got a couple of older heads around here who can learn from uh, Dunny, um, Jeremy Howe. I mean, you must be looking forward to picking their brains. Yeah, I can't wait to go down and learn what they've what they've learnt from the club already and um, take on some new new knowledge and um, yeah, fit in well. So. Hopefully it all comes through well.